guys, so I have one last video to make today, I think, unless I go dumpster diving later. But anyway, I went to some yard sales today. There wasn't really like any yard sales this week. I don't know why. Um, so I wasn't out for long and I didn't really find much. Um, next week I probably will not have a yard sale haul because my work is actually having a sale and I will be up there for the most part. So if I have any kind of yard sale haul, it's just going to be stuff that my mom picked up for me. Speaking of which, my dad went yard sailing yesterday and he picked me up some things. So I'm going to go get those right now. Hold on one second. So since I didn't go to many yard sales, I didn't do like a follow me around type thing because I seriously went to like maybe 10 yard sales at the most. So... Um, I'm just going to show you the stuff that my dad actually bought me yesterday when he went yard sailing. Um, this surprised the hell out of me because, I mean, my dad will go to yard sales with me and my mom, but he's not the type of man that'll just go to yard sales by himself, especially buying women's things by himself. You know what I mean? So this was really touching to me that he, you know, actually went yard sailing specifically to try to find me some things that I, he found that I liked. So I'm going to show you guys what he got me. And he knows I love jewelry, so he got me some jewelry. Uh, the first thing he paid a dollar for, and it's just this necklace. And I'm not sure who this is made by or anything like that. It actually might even be handmade, I have no idea. But it just has these um little beads on, they're like gold and bronze colored. If you can see that. So he got me that, and I will add that to my jewelry box. Um, he also got me this necklace, and this one he paid 50 cents for. And this one just looks like this. It's got this, um, hold on, let me put it together. It just hangs like this, kind of like a... I don't know what you want to call that. Like a Y shape. So he got me that one. And then <laughs> he also got me um, this one, which he paid $5 for this one, which I think is kind of steep. But it looks like they have a sticker here that it was from the Limited. So, I mean, it probably costs more than $5. But this one's really pretty, though. I really like this one. And if I can get it, like, all from being in a bag, it's been all tangled up, but. If I can get it untangled. Okay. Uh, no. I don't have it untangled yet. Well, anyway. It's still tangled, but it's just a really long necklace but it has these really pretty like rhinestone uh, beads that sparkle nicely and then it's like what has like a rose color chain and a silver chain it's pretty long but I really do like that so he got me that one and like I said it's I gotta untangle it from being in the bag and then <laughs> this is so funny but he also knows that I love you know beauty related stuff he knows that like, whenever he sees a table that has, like, perfumes and lotion or, like, makeup and stuff on it, like, he'll holler for me to come over and check it out. And he don't really, you know, he's, uh, he's retired and he, you know, isn't up, he doesn't know names and stuff like that. But he saw this bag of, um, I guess what he considered to be, like, lotions and stuff and he bought it for me. But it just looks like this, but it's funny because these are just, like, Stuff that you'd get, like, staying in a hotel or whatever. So it's just, like, shampoo and... I think it's all shampoo. Shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, uh, a lotion, body wash, stuff like that. So it's not really anything, um, you know, good by any means as far as, like, a brand or whatever. But he just saw it and was like, oh, you know, like beauty related stuff like Michelle will really like that and so I thought that was so sweet of him though so I mean whatever I can use this stuff um, just for when 
like right now I'm running low on conditioner. If I would happen to run out of conditioner before I get to the store, I can just use one of these. So it'll definitely come in handy regardless. So that was really sweet of him. And then we went to some yard sales today. I will show you what I got. Um, I found this little, this little girl <laughs> in a, check out the schnoz on that. It's about the size of mine. I could be a witch for Halloween. But anyway, I found this and I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays and last year... I worked like all day, all night. I couldn't, you know, hand out candy or I wasn't even in the Halloween spirit because I was just working a really shitty schedule and that changed. So this year I, I think I'll actually be able to like get in the mood for holidays again, hopefully. So I found this and I love weird, creepy stuff and this is just right up my alley, this little witch thing here. So I paid $1.50 for it, and it looks like it was originally from TJ Maxx. They paid $5.99 originally. So I figured $1.50, it was worth it. Just a little witchy poo. She has like a little springy bobblehead and straw hair, and I just really liked her. So I got her, and they had this like cute Halloween tree also, um, you know, that you could get like little ornaments and stuff to hang from it, and I was going to get that as well, but since... I didn't have ornaments and didn't know what for ornaments I could come to find and that would go with the tree so I didn't pick it up but it was really cute so I got her and then the rest of the stuff uh, coincidentally like I went to and this just this just goes to show you something okay I went to a senior center just you know a place where um, you know, the elderly people go to, like, hang out and play games and eat and whatever. I went there and I found some good things, okay, at a senior center for elderly people. Alright, I went to a yard sale at this one house and, I mean, beautiful home. Probably costs, like, in the mid-$400,000, dollars house. They had a BMW in the driveway, just beautiful. I didn't find shit there. They didn't have nothing, like nothing good. It was all like nothing good to me, you know, like just junk. So it just goes to show you that just because you're at like a really nice house, it doesn't mean they're going to have anything good. So I'm going to show you guys what I found at the senior center. I about shit my pants at the senior center, which I probably wouldn't have been the only one shitting my pants, but I found some good things there. Randomly looking through the clothing, not really expecting to find anything because it was all, you know, mainly elderly people clothes, which some of them have nice style, but, you know, it wasn't something that I think I'd really, like, find anything. I wasn't even going to look at the stuff, but I just ended up doing it because I found a couple, like, t-shirts that had, like, hot rods on the back, and my dad really loves classic cars and stuff like that. So while I was looking for shirts for him that he wanted to buy, I was just glancing at the other stuff, and I found this sweater. And this looks vintage. It's just like a red long sleeve men's sweater. But the brand is Christian Dior at the Senior Center. So one of those men had really good taste. So I got that for a dollar, I believe. Then I also found this one. <laughs> this one's just a navy blue cable knit sweater. And I'm not going to list these on eBay until... Um, you know, colder weather comes around, so I'm just going to store these in my closet until then. But this one is by Brooks Brothers. So, got that one too for a dollar. So, got those at the Senior Center. And then I also got some more stuff. Oh no, I think my mom has my bag. She does. Well, dang. I'll have to show you guys in another haul the other stuff I got. I got a couple of things off the makeup table that were brand new. It was just some Avon stuff. It was an eyeshadow, a um, an eyeliner, and a Sinful Colors nail polish. So I'll have to show them in another video because we had two bags and I thought I got all my stuff out of her bag, but I missed those. My mom came across this bag and it's just this pink and clear Olay bag. It's nothing, you know good as far as a bag goes. I'll probably just throw it out in my yard sale. Um, 
But anyway, there was some stuff inside, and I'm going to show you guys what was in it. She saw it because there was a bottle of Estee Lauder Intuition perfume. So I got that in the bag. And the entire bag was just 50 cents. So I got that. And then there was also an Estee Lauder Intuition lotion. But they didn't have the cap on it was open a bit, so it started leaking on stuff. So, as you can see, it's not full anymore. It's, like, all in the bag. I have to clean it. I have to clean the bag. But, um, that was in there as well. And there was also, this was in the bag. This is called a Micro Crystal Skin refin Refinisher by Good Skin. And it was in the box. Looks new. I don't really quite know what it is. I guess it's, like, a micro, um dermabrasion kind of um, exfoliator type thing and then there were also these two origin soaps and these are new they're called jumpstart by origins so that was a good deal I mean origins is a pretty good brand so the whole bag for 50 cents and yeah that is everything that I got yard selling I told you guys I didn't really find anything there weren't many so I didn't bother with a follow me around or anything like that so anyway i do like the stuff that i did get and yeah so i will see you guys maybe later if i do a dumpster dive and if not then probably not until next week um and even then i'm not going to be going yard sailing but maybe i'll do a video of the stuff that i get at my work sale so we shall see but i hope you guys like my video and i will see you next time i also got um Two things for friends here on YouTube. Um, when I'm yard selling and I see something that reminds me of one of my friends here on YouTube that I have to buy them. So I got two different things for two different people. So I'm not going to show you guys what they are. Um, one of my friends already knows that I found her something. But um, so yeah. I've just been kind of like collecting things. So whenever I feel like I have a good bit to send to you guys I'll probably send out some friend mails. But I also am wanting to do a giveaway sometime soon and I did a yard sale haul giveaway a long time ago and I think it did really well as far as people being interested. So I think I'm going to do another one of those at some point here soon once I get more stuff together. I've been like collecting stuff for that as well. And but I found this and this is specifically going to go into the giveaway that I'm going to have and it is a Bath & Body Works scent portable and this is brand new and it comes with a, a Sweet Pea um, scent portable disc. So I paid a dollar for this and I thought that would be cute to throw in my giveaway. I love these things so and it smells really good. You can smell it like through the thing. I mean it's new. It's still sealed. Um, the disc hasn't been used yet, but you can still smell it. But yeah, that's my video. I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.